Welcome to Space Mysteries, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Just when we think we've pieced together the story of life on Earth, a discovery comes along and flips the script, reminding us that nature always has more secrets to reveal than we expect. This time, the spotlight falls on a creature we think we know well, the beaver. Known for their engineering skills and iconic dams, beavers have shaped landscapes for thousands of years. But what if I told you that the beaver's story is far older and stranger than we ever imagined? This isn't your typical dam-building beaver. Recently, scientists made an astonishing find, a brand new species of ancient beaver, hidden for millions of years beneath layers of rock and time. This discovery is shaking up everything we thought we knew about these remarkable animals. This mysterious creature roamed the wilds of North America millions of years ago, opening a window into a wild, unexpected chapter in beaver evolution that no one saw coming. It's not just another fossil, this is a brand new character in Earth's unfolding story, one we never even knew existed until now. Imagine a beaver relative with a totally different lifestyle, unique features and surprising adaptations, unlike anything alive today. This ancient animal challenges our ideas about what it means to be a beaver. Every fossil is a clue, a piece of the puzzle, and this one is a true game changer. It forces us to rethink the beaver's place in the grand story of evolution. This discovery connects us to the deep past, revealing that the beaver family tree is much more complex, with surprising branches and unexpected twists. Unlike today's beavers, this ancient species wasn't building dams or lodges, instead it was living a very different life, adapting to a world that looked nothing like ours. Evolution isn't a straight line, it's a tangled web full of experiments, dead ends, and unexpected successes. And with this discovery, we've just uncovered one of the most fascinating evolutionary experiments yet. So get ready to journey back in time, Meet the passionate scientists behind this groundbreaking find and see how this ancient beaver is rewriting the tale we thought we knew. Let's dive in and explore a story millions of years in the making. Our story begins in Oregon's Clarno Formation, a fossil-rich landscape that's a paleontologist's dream. Stretching across the rugged hills of central Oregon, this region is famous for its vibrant multicolored rock layers and its wealth of ancient secrets buried beneath the surface. For decades, scientists have flocked here, drawn by the promise of uncovering clues to Earth's distant past. Here, layers of ancient volcanic ash preserve a subtropical world from 30 to 50 million years ago. These rocks are like pages in a history book, recording the rise and fall of ancient forests, rivers, and the animals that once roamed here. The volcanic eruptions that blanketed the land in ash also created the perfect conditions for fossilization, locking away the remains of plants and creatures in remarkable detail. A team from the University of Oregon, led by Dr. Samantha Hopkins, spends summers scouring these hills for fossils. Each field season brings new challenges and excitement as the team carefully sifts through layers of rock, always hoping for a rare discovery that could change what we know about prehistoric life. During a routine dig in 2024 they found something extraordinary, a small fragment of jawbone. At first glance it seemed unremarkable but the team's experience told them it was worth a closer look. Sometimes the most important finds are the ones that almost go unnoticed. Identifying fossils here is common, but this one didn't match anything known. Its size, shape, and texture were all subtly different from the usual finds, sparking curiosity and debate among the researchers. Back in the lab, they used microscopes and digital imaging to analyze the fossil, focusing on the teeth. High-resolution scans allowed them to see details invisible to the naked eye, revealing patterns and structures that hinted at a unique evolutionary story. The molar's unique shape and wear patterns revealed this was no ordinary rodent. The teeth showed adaptations for a specialized diet, unlike anything seen in other fossils from the region, suggesting this animal filled a previously unknown ecological niche. After months of comparison the team realized they'd discovered a new genus and species of primitive beaver. They pored over reference collections and scientific literature, confirming that this jawbone represented a lineage never before documented in North America. They named it Microtheriomus articula, small jointed beast, for its distinctive jaw features. The name reflects both its tiny size and the unique articulation of its jaw, which set it apart from all known relatives. The announcement, published in early 2025, 
electrified the scientific community. News of the discovery spread quickly, inspiring new research and sparking discussions about mammal evolution during the Eocene epoch. A single jawbone from Oregon had just opened a new chapter in North American mammal history. Museums and universities requested casts of the fossil, eager to study its features and share its story with the public. It's a reminder that even the smallest fossils can have a huge impact. Each discovery, no matter how tiny, can reshape our understanding of the ancient world and the creatures that once inhabited it. This find is more than a curiosity. It's a key to understanding ancient life. It helps scientists piece together the puzzle of how mammals evolved and adapted after the age of dinosaurs, offering a glimpse into a world long gone. And it all started with a sharp-eyed team and a tiny piece of bone. Their dedication and attention to detail remind us that science is often about patience, persistence, and the thrill of discovery. So, what was Microtherio Miss Articula really like? To answer that, we have to look beyond the bones and imagine a creature that lived millions of years before the beavers we know today. Forget the image of today's large dam-building beaver. Microtheriomus was a very different animal with habits and features that set it apart from its modern relatives. This ancient beaver was much smaller, about the size of a muskrat weighing just 10 to 15 pounds. Imagine a beaver you could easily hold in your hands, nimble and quick, perfectly suited for a different kind of life. Its teeth were built for gnawing, but smaller and differently shaped, hinting at a diet of roots, tubers, and soft bark, not tree felling. Unlike today's beavers, it didn't need to chew through thick trunks or build massive dams. Instead, it was a forager, not an engineer, living quietly in the lush subtropical undergrowth of ancient Oregon. It likely spent its days searching for food among dense ferns and leafy plants blending into the vibrant green world around it. Its tail was likely thin and rodent-like, not the broad paddle we see today. This would have made it more agile on land able to dart through the undergrowth and escape predators. Microtheriomice was probably semi-aquatic, spending more time on land or in marshes than in deep water. It may have waded through shallow streams and wetlands, but it wasn't the expert swimmer we associate with beavers now. 35 million years ago, Oregon was a warm, humid paradise, filled with broad-leafed evergreens and ancient plants. The landscape was teeming with life, a far cry from the cooler forests we see today. This beaver shared its world with primitive horses, brontotheres, and saber-toothed predators, it had to be cautious and clever to survive among such formidable neighbors. Microtheriomis was perfectly adapted for a tropical world, not the temperate forests of today. Its small size and unique features helped it thrive in a warm, lush environment. It's a glimpse into a very different beaver story, a story of adaptation, survival, and a world long vanished beneath the forests of modern Oregon. To appreciate Microtheriomis, let's look at its modern cousin, Castor canadensis, the North American beaver. Today's beaver is North America's largest rodent and a true ecosystem engineer. With webbed feet, transparent eyelids, and massive incisors, it's built for aquatic life. Modern beavers fell trees, build dams, and create ponds that protect them from predators. Their lodges are fortresses with underwater entrances, a brilliant survival strategy. Beavers are strict herbivores, feeding on the inner bark of trees and storing branches for winter. Their flat, scaly tails serve as rudders, props, and warning devices. Waterproof fur keeps them warm and dry in icy water. Every adaptation is intertwined, making the modern beaver a master of its domain. It's the result of millions of years of evolution from humble ancestors like Microtheriomice. Comparing Microtheriomice articulate to Castor canadensis is like seeing two blueprints for the same machine. Completely different designs. Modern beavers are landscape architects, creating wetlands and shaping ecosystems. Microtheriomis was a passive resident, likely burrowing in riverbanks rather than building dams. The modern beaver's iron-coated incisors are built for wood, while Microtheriomis had smaller primitive teeth for softer foods. Their bodies tell different stories. Today's beaver is a stocky swimmer with webbed feet and a paddle tail. Microtheriomis was more land-based, with a generic rodent tail. This highlights evolution in action, adapting to changing environments. As climates cooled, beaver ancestors evolved new traits to survive. Microtheriomice thrived in a warm world, but it was the engineering beaver that endured. Evolution isn't about perfection, it's about adaptation. Microtheriomice shows us an early experimental path in beaver history. The modern beaver is the survivor of that evolutionary journey. It's amazing how a tiny jawbone can shake up science. The discovery of Microtheriomis articula adds a new branch to the beaver family tree, 
filling a gap in our understanding of their early evolution. It challenges our assumptions, showing that beavers were once far more diverse, with different lifestyles and forms. For millions of years, beavers experimented with burrowing, foraging and even growing to giant sizes. This fossil is a crucial marker for dating ancient rock layers helping scientists piece together Earth's history. It's a timestamp, connecting distant places and times. Most importantly it sparks new questions. What other beaver experiments are waiting to be found? How did dam building evolve? One small fossil can inspire a whole new wave of discovery. That's the magic of paleontology. Microtheriumus articulus fossil opens a window into Oregon's Eocene ecosystem. 35 million years ago, this region was a humid subtropical jungle, buzzing with life. Dense forests, slow rivers and swampy wetlands dominated the landscape. Microtherio mice shared its world with tiny horses, massive brontotheres and tapirs. Predators like nimravids, false saber-toothed cats and creodonts stalked the shadows. For small mammals, survival meant constant vigilance. By studying fossils from the Clarno Formation, scientists reconstruct the ancient food web and ecosystem. Microtheriomis adds a crucial piece to this prehistoric puzzle. Each new discovery brings us closer to understanding this lost world. The beaver's story is richer than most realize. Microtheriomice is just one chapter. Later, the giant beaver casteroids roamed Ice Age North America, reaching bear-like sizes but not building dams. Beavers have shaped human history too, their fur-fueled exploration, trade, and conflict across the continent. Overhunting nearly drove them extinct, collapsing ecosystems that depended on their engineering. Conservation efforts in the 20th century brought beavers back, restoring wetlands and biodiversity. Today, beavers are celebrated for their ecological role, not just their fur. From prehistoric burrowers to modern engineers, beavers have had an incredible journey. Their story is one of survival, adaptation, and impact, and it all started with small, ancient ancestors like Microtheriomus. The discovery of Microtheriomus articula reminds us that life's story is always evolving. Each fossil adds a new page, revealing characters and twists we never expected. The world we see today is just one frame in a billion-year movie. This ancient beaver connects us to deep time and the wild journey of evolution. It's a call to stay curious, keep exploring, and never stop asking questions. Paleontology isn't just about old bones, it's about understanding our world and our place in it. The beaver's tale continues, richer and more surprising with every discovery. Who knows what the next small fossil will reveal? What an adventure!